for most of us, wasp nests are something definitely best avoided. But Dr. Bob Brown isn't most of us. There's the top. He's a New Zealand-based scientist who's come all the way to the UK with the express purpose of tracking down and then digging up British wasps' nests. Things are going to get a bit more exciting. As soon as the nest realises it's under threat, the worker wasps release alarm pheromones that send the rest into attack mode. We've taped up the sleeves and ankles of our protective suits for a reason. So you may well be wondering who in their right mind would dig up a nest with 10,000 angry wasps in it. But these researchers reassure me what's in these nests is definitely worth the risk. And this is what they're after. At the centre of your screen, a wriggling wasp parasite. They're the larvae of certain hoverflies that have evolved to evade the watchful eyes of worker wasps and feed on their defenceless young. You can see here swaddled in the nest chambers. Here's some of the... Um, oh yeah, I can see the larvae. Yeah, so these larvae will have killed at least two wasp larvae. And that's precisely why Bob Brown is here, to take these killer parasites back to New Zealand. Immigrant English wasps are now a major scourge down under. Throughout summer, wasps are a serious pest for... The two main species of English wasp were introduced by accident in the 1940s. Without natural enemies, their nests are much bigger, and there's far more of them. Yeah, they're a massive problem in New Zealand. It's the worst invasive invertebrate that we've got. Things like forestry will shut down in certain areas for up to months at a time. But the wine industry, they've uh, late harvest grapes. Uh, the wasps will go in and have a feed on those. But the, to me, the, the biggest problem is what they're doing with the, the native ecosystems. The sting operation over, Dr Brown packs up his new recruits for New Zealand's war on wasps. Tom Clark, ITV News.